this one, whereas expense managers is about spending money, uh, you're going to hear shortly from uh, AJ, here he is, from Easy Collect. And of course, this is about collecting money. And, and it will, you know, it's always great to spend money, but hey, we have to bank it first from our debtors. So, so Easy Collect, again, you know, a great um, add on product integrating with MIBX. So, uh, and again, globally successful and um, a great story. Now, um, I'm always excited about Easy Collect. Um, eliminating the 60, 90, 90 plus um, balances in a debtor's ledger. And believe me, it will uh, absolutely attack that. But today, um, AJ, with all his experience, is going to explain um, how to mitigate risk and have debtor relationships that are quality from the start so we don't end up with them in the 90 plus day column, hopefully. So over to you, AJ. Welcome. Thanks, Grant, and uh, apologies for all that mix-up there. Um, and uh, yes, look, um, thanks everyone for making the time today, and I hope you're having a good session with uh, today's topic. Um, look, I'll take about five, ten minutes, and I, I really want to extend the topic today, which is, you know, a, a kind of the complete control concept here, um, and talk about a topic that's really close to my heart, um, which is um, mitigating risk with uh, uh, onboarding new customers. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to share my screen here, and I'll go through... Um, Topic here, okay, perfect. So look, um, I guess why this topic is so close to my heart is because prior to starting Easy Collect, I um, possibly was in uh, your shoes. I ran a, a wholesale manufacturing business, um, and we were importing uh, medical consumables um, and industrial safety products. So think, think hairnets, think safety vests, think uh, gloves, overalls. Uh, very kind of low margin, high volume products. Um, and when you sell those kind of products, uh, and we you know, had a good growth, we went from three to 10 million in about three years, um, it's all about efficiency. Um, and you, you, know, you, you um, kind of have to make sure that you don't have too many bad debts because your margins are so like low. And on top of that, um, in the industry that we worked in, it was very much about selling on credit. So B2B um, in our wholesale manufacturing was to really grow the business, people expected terms, 30 days, 60 days, um, end of month. And we were in this position where we continue to want to have customers. And so we kept giving terms. Sometimes we gave terms to customers that we probably shouldn't have. Uh, and that resulted in some um, serious uh, pain, which we'll go through in a second. Uh, luckily, you know, I was able to sell that business after three years and I had time to reflect on this problem. And the, the biggest issue that we had was this imbalance of cash flow from when our customers paid us and when we had to pay our suppliers and our, our employees. And that's how EasyClick started. But really, what I want to talk to you about today is the first part of that journey. You know, when you first start working uh, with your um, I guess, prospects. Um, the question I want to ask you, and I'd love for you to use the chat here or at the polls or, um, you know, do you have a process for onboarding new customers to your business or are you just adding bad debts? Now, if I can tell you a story of um, what happened in my business was my onboarding process, I would say, is a, was a very wishy-washy process. It's a very technical term here, I know. Um, and it was very much a case of um, sending out to customers a paper-based uh, you know, one or two page form that really captured their details, like who's your directors, how much credit do you want, um, who's your accounts payables contact, um, give me three trade references. You know, this was the, this was the best part of the application, give me three trade references. Um, and I, I don't know, Grant, if you went to a bank to get a, um, you know, business loan, and you, and you ask your bank manager that, hey, give me $10,000, and I'll give you three good references that say that I'm a good guy, you think that would work? No. <laughs> no, right. Uh, I mean, and, and I think us, us in the B2B world have been living in this uh, different world where that's the norm, right? And so the question I had here for you, and this is why it's so passionate to me, I felt this pain. I wrote off about 50 to 100K a year in bad debts. And, I, and, and with what I want to show you today is I want to show you how you can solve that so you don't have to live that pain in your business. And I'm not saying that trade credit's a bad thing. We all need to have trade credit because it builds trust. Trust is, is super important, right? And it's just about the fact that sometimes uh, as business owners, uh, we get a bit overzealous in wanting to sell and, um, and get that sale closed, that we sometimes don't necessarily follow a data first approach, which is something which I'm more and more passionate about. And I, I want to show you today in a live demo in just a few minutes, how you can do this, how you can onboard customers with a data first approach. The other thing is, 
Um, the trade application is the first interaction a customer has with your brand, and you want to make sure that delights your customers. It's not a you know wishy-washy experience. It's it's kind of saying to your customers, this is how my company expects to work. We expect uh, this level of professionalism from you. And so the process, which is manual or forms, you know, sent back and forth with writing that's not very legible, doesn't work anymore, right? We have to find a way that's automated and streamlined that allows you to um, represent your brand in the best way, but yet make data-based uh, decisions and reduce the friction. You want to get a sale quickly, right? So you want to send the customer an application form online, they fill it up, and within minutes you can make a decision and invoice the same day. Right, that's what we want to show you. How can you actually increase sales, reduce your risk, um, and delight your customers with a really nice experience? Right. So what, what, what I want to do is quickly flick to um, a live demo here. Um, and if some of you have used EasyCollect in the past, what you're seeing here is the EasyCollect uh, screen. Uh, and within this, there's a module called Credit Applications. Now, in the Credit Applications section, what you would do is you'd go and set up your own custom application form that you want to set up uh, with your branding, your colors, your logos, your terms and conditions, your privacy policy, and any any welcome text that you might want to have, and you can save that. That is literally as hard as it is to get your online application form up and running. As soon as you do that, you'll have your own unique URL, which you can paste into uh, your like website. You can send it to your customers or your prospects as an email, uh, and it's a digital application form that you've got today. So that's tick one. You've already started. Uh, with automation and streamlining the process. Step two, you want to track who's actually completing the form. So we captured uh, IP addresses and you can then track digitally who's actually completed that form, who's actually the person um, that uh, is um, you know, uh, in charge of this process in case you have to go back to them. So we do track all the information. And then when you actually start the process of uh, you know, entering into the details, we want it to be frictionless. Like we mentioned, that let's keep it keep it quick for your customers to actually complete the process. So if they know their ABN, everything else in the form can be pre-filled. If you if you think about it, your your name, your address, your director details, we grab information from the from ASIC, from from our ABR, and they go through a process here of really just validating that the information we have on file is correct. And we do that through our own uh, partnerships with uh, credit reporting bureaus, with third party um, tools to bring it all into the system. And within minutes, they can put in their accounts payable contacts, they can upload documents, they can add trade references. Um, you can capture documents like your driver's license. And once that's done, they hit submit at the end. And that will then create the application form in your uh, easy collect view once again. And you can see some could be partially completed, some could be fully complete. So I'll go to the one that's fully complete here. And what you will see here is now your view as an account receivable or a credit manager or as a CFO or as a business owner, you can log in and you can see all the information you need that just got filled in, right? And that's, you know, A in itself, hopefully a big win. But then step two of that is how do I extend that to actually make some data-driven decisions? So here you'll see is company info for the company that uh, on that ABN that just got filled in. And we can, you can now cross-reference this company info that's being dragged up from um, you know, different sources and say, hey, they said that, you know, for example, I know that Mr. Arjun Singh is the director of like Easy Collect, but in the form they said somebody else was the director. So you can start to start questioning these things. You can start building a better level of trust to know, hey, what they're filling in is what they're actually saying and what is the actual truth. Right, and this is um, part of the process of making better decisions because if you have the right customers, then chasing them becomes much much easier. Um, and then, as part of that, we we give you access to data which is not normally accessible to um, SMEs, right, and mid and mid market businesses. So if you ever um, um, have used a late payment score or a failure score, well done. If you haven't, these are scores that are sourced from third-party credit reporting bureaus like Dun & Bradstreet and Veda. There are a few in this country. And we bring these scores right into the app. A late payment score, for example, is a chance that someone's going to pay late in the next 12 months. Failure risk score is a chance someone's going to fail in the next 12 months. This is information that you want to know. Because if you know this information, you can make better decisions on how much credit you want to extend. Do you want to extend credit at all? Uh, do you want to go on a COD basis? I know in my last business, if I had this information, I would have saved myself 30, 40K in bad debts every year is, you know, find profit out of your pocket. Um, now, if you have a high score, like a high risk score, you can go deeper 
and view a credit report, again, all within the app. And the credit report goes even deeper. It talks about PPSR, which is if you're selling capital equipment, it's really important. It talks about cross-directorships, which means is this director a director of any other company? Are they kind of doing the dodge and, you know, um, using your uh, using a shell company perhaps to trade? Um, any other defaults or court actions, it's all tracked in this report, right? And so what you're getting here is a really detailed analysis of the risk of that customer. You don't need to do that credit report if you don't want to, but it's there for you. You can uh, look at any documents, you can uh, do the reference checking, so you can call the customers, put in your notes, it's all there. And then at the end of the day, you can finalize the application, which gives you an opportunity to put in the credit terms that you like approve. Um, you can put in the notes saying, you know, uh, you know, good guy. Um, and then you can actually approve that particular application. When you approve the credit application, um, it's going to actually create that uh, customer for you in your, in your ERP, right? So MYB, uh, it'll be created in there. You'll have, you'll have the data that you need with that double, with double data entry and it's all audited and tracked here, right? So there's no um, you know, question about, hey, was this person approved? Who approved it? It's all here. And you can always go back and look at your notes and say, this was approved. Here were the tr trade references. Here are the credit notes. Um, and then uh, the last thing I, I want to show you is once someone's approved, don't forget about them, right? You want to continually track and monitor your data from a risk point of view. So what we provide you with as well are the tools, right? to look at the risk level of your customers at any given time. Um, it's updated every month based on the data that we're getting from these third parties. So you can say, hey, you know, this person, Collins, Hessel, for example, was a low risk when you first onboarded them, but today they're actually a severe risk of late payment. You can make better decisions as a result of that, right? So really what I wanted to kind of um, end with here, the very last point, was that having a process like this um, hopefully it should be something that you're doing today, whether you use Easy Collect or not, but please automate, think about this process. And if you do want to use Easy Collect, um, there's no API required um, because it is a standalone product. You can use it today, up and running in less than 10 minutes, and you can you know, hopefully see the benefits to your business. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to um, the folks at Kilimanjaro Enterprise or myself, AJ, at uh, easycollect.com.au, and we can um, sort of get you started. So there's a poll that we've just put up as well. Um, you know, if you um, would love to just learn what, what, what people are doing, so please go ahead and fill that up and um, I will hand back to you, Grant.